On China, he understands what a big market that is for, for U.S. goods and services when he met with the head of Alibaba a couple weeks ago. Um, that, that was part of the point. There's a huge market issue there. But it, in a large, in many cases, it's, it's not a two-way street. There's so many Chinese businesses and individuals, frankly, who can have ease of access in the United States to sell their goods or services. And I think that whether or not you're talking about the financial services or the banking, you know, the, the other service industries or our manufacturing goods and services um, or some of the IP problems that we have with China, that it's, it really is not a two-way street. And so he understands the market that China has uh, and, and our desire to further penetrate that market. But he also recognizes there's a lot of concerns with how we are treated entering into China's market, and we need to, to review that. Yes, ma'am. I think we're going to have further, we'll have further updates on that. Yes, ma'am. Jessica Snow from CGTN. Uh, welcome. Thank you. Um, question following on what she was asking about uh, TPP. You know, part of the thinking of TPP was to encircle China uh, economically. And I wonder if the President has thought a little bit about what kind of bilateral relationships in the region, the trade relationships, would accomplish a similar goal. And secondly, I heard you talking about NAFTA and a trigger, but I didn't hear you say you had triggered the trigger. We have not <laughs> triggered the trigger. Hasn't happened. Uh, but again, I think we have an exist existing relationships with many of the countries that were part of the 12-nation makeup of TPP. And I think we're going to continue to explore how we can, in some cases, strengthen those relationships or look for bilateral agreements with nations that we didn't have one uh, through TPP. Hey there, thanks for checking out CNBC on YouTube. Be sure to subscribe to stay up to date on all of the day's biggest stories. You can also click on any of the videos around me to watch the latest from CNBC. Thanks for watching.